everyone. So I've had a lot of people ask how I hide my piercings, my tattoos, all that sort of thing. So today I'm going to do the first part in probably what will be a three series um, of three se three different videos. Um, but this is going to be the first part in the series, how I hide my piercings. I've done several videos where my piercings are out or hidden or whatnot. So I've had people ask like, well, how do you hide that around your parents? How do your parents not know about your piercings? How do people not know about your piercings? So today I just wanted to do a quick little video on how I hide all of my piercings. So I guess we'll just start with my ears. Um, usually when I wear plugs like this, I prefer to wear tunnels or eyelets in my stretched ears. Um, but usually when I wear solid plugs like these, these are just like double flared little like skeletons or like skulls, but usually when I wear anything that's like solid, not see, you know, like doesn't have a big hole you can see through, no one really says anything about my stretched ears. So these I usually don't worry about. I actually have a pair of like, a, like diamond plugs, or well, they're not real diamonds, but like, you know, fake, big fake diamonds that look even more like real, real earrings, but they are in double zeros, and now I'm in, at 7 sixteenths, and I can't find any 7 sixteenths plugs um, that are big diamonds like that. So, and I'm going to stretch up probably pretty soon anyway to probably like a half inch. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, so no one really says anything about these. So when I want to like hide stuff, um, what I will do is I will take my second and third lobe piercings out, which I just wear like flat back labrette studs in mine. You can't really see this because the lighting sucks, but um, yeah, so I don't wear like regular earrings in mine because I like the little bitty ball that's on labrette studs. So I'll just take the second and third ones out. And I have had my fourths, my fourth lobes pierced for like nine months now. So I could probably take them out for a short amount of time and they'd be okay. But I'm not going to bother taking them out for this video because this is just kind of like a how-to quick thing. Um, so I could probably take my fourth lobes out for, you know, maybe an hour or two. But I wouldn't want to leave them out any longer than that. My midway is only about a little over a month old. So I'm not going to, I wouldn't take it out. My snug is like a year and a half old, but I feel like I, I just wouldn't want to take it out. Um, also, my second helix is about a year old, but I I just, I don't like to take out helix piercings, except I know that my top one I can take out, and it's just fine. I've had this for almost five years, and it was actually done with a gun, which sucks, um, but it, like, I have taken it out for, like, a month or two before, and it's, it's still fine. So I would take it out just to kind of have, like, a little less bling there. And like I said, if it was only for like an hour or two, I might take out my second helix and my fourth lobes. But I wouldn't take out my midway or my snug at all. Same thing with my tragus. I I could take it out for maybe an hour or two, but I'd be afraid to. Uh, leave it out for super long, so I'm not going to take it out for this video. And then my forward helix, you can't even see it with my hair, and I've never... I've never been able to get it out. So that I can kind of just take out, you know, a few piercings and that way it doesn't look like there's as much. Um, probably I wouldn't even have to take out the helix, but I can, you know. And if I take out the second and third lobes, it's like there's not as much bling, you know, down here. Like you can really only see like my first lobes. So no one really says anything about them. Same thing with this ear. Take out my second and third lobe piercing. And again, same thing with my fourths on this year. Also, um, my second conch is a little over a month old, um, maybe close to like two months, and my antitragus is about six or seven months, but I wouldn't want to take either of those out, and even though this conch is over a year old, I just wouldn't want to leave it out. My cartilage piercings, except for this helix for some reason, tend to heal really, like, close up really, really quickly, so I wouldn't take out either of my conches. Same thing with my rook, it closes in like... Like, I, I've had it out for maybe 10 minutes before when I was just changing it, and it's almost closed, so I wouldn't take it out. But I do take my industrial out sometimes. I've had it out for up to probably two or three months because I took it out for good one time, which that didn't end up lasting, obviously. Um, but, yeah, like, I can take my industrial out and leave it out for days and weeks and months, and it's, it's still a piercing. Like, it still doesn't close. So that's what I would do with my ears. And then with my septum, I just flip it up. No one can ever tell it's there. My nose piercing. I used to wear a clear retainer in this, but I've had it for um, over a year and a half now, and I can leave it out. I've left it out for like 
two days before and it's been completely fine. Um, so what I'll do usually at home, sometimes I'll wear a retainer in it or I'll just wear like a hoop or a stud or something in it at night to keep it open so that it doesn't completely close and then I'll just remove it during the day when I'm around my parents and stuff. And you can't even tell, I mean if you get up like super super close you can but usually I'll like put a little bit of concealer or something on it and you can't even tell there's a hole there. My tongue piercing. I will just take it out. Again, I used to wear a retainer in it, but retainers are actually super uncomfortable to me, and they, like, scrape the roof of my mouth, and to me, they're just as obvious as, like, an actual tongue ring in. So I've left my tongue piercing or my tongue ring out for, like, over, a little over 12 hours, and it was totally fine. It didn't close up. So I don't know if I could leave it out longer than that and if it would be fine, but that's as long as I would want to leave it out, but, I mean, you can't even tell I have it. And then my smiley... Obviously, it always just stays tucked up in there. You can't even tell I have it ever, so I don't do anything with it. And then, same thing with, like, my nipple piercings and my belly button piercing. I don't ever try to cover those because usually when you're trying to cover up piercings, it's for, like, a job interview or a job or something professional where they're not going to be looking at your nips and your belly anyway. So, I just, like, wear clothes and those are hidden. So yeah, that is how I hide all of my 27 piercings. Again, I don't take all of my ear piercings out. I could wear like clear retainers, like labrette retainers or um, like curved barbell retainers. And I do have those if I ever needed to completely be piercingless for whatever reason, I could wear those. And I could just take out my plugs. And I mean, I, I sleep with my plugs out at least two nights a week. And my ears are like so ridiculously super stretchy that they don't close up. So like if I needed to be completely piercingless, I could just take everything out, put clear retainers in the few piercings that I have in my ears still. I could put retainers in my nipples, my belly button, and all would be well and in my smiley as well. And I could even put a retainer in my septum. I have a clear retainer for it as well. So if I needed to be completely piercingless, I could. I could probably even take everything out for up to a few hours and it would probably be fine, wouldn't close. I wouldn't want to leave it that way, but yeah, so that is just how I, like, that's the basics of how I hide my piercings. I mean, if you look at me right now, if I can get my hair to be where you can't see my ears, you don't even know that I have any piercings. If you just look at me right now, you'd think I was completely piercingless. So that's usually the goal that you're trying to achieve with, you know, anything professional that you're going to have to remove your piercings for. So hopefully this helped you to understand how you can, you know, sort of conceal things and hide things. Again, retainers are your best friend if you need to use them. Clear retainers are the best. I always suggest glass if you can afford it. Silicone is also okay, um, but there are some other, like, sketchy plastics out there that I would not recommend, you know, like acrylic or anything like that. You don't want to wear that long term in any piercing. But yeah, that's just how I do it. That is my suggestions to you. Again, like I said, I hope this helps you. And if it didn't, I hope it was at least like entertaining in some way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.